Hi guys, welcome to Exploring Ancient History. My name's Elliot, and today we're going to go and check out Bellis Knapp Longbarrow, part of the Cotswold 7 group, uh, Chambered Tombs. This is a brilliant site, and I think this is one of the best sites that highlights or illustrates that these long barrows were more than just tombs, and they were in fact temples where people worshipped over a long period of time. Um, this has a, it's called a portal door, or a false door, um, at the front of the monument. Um, there's no chamber behind this door, um, and this gives rise to the thought that potentially this was a place where people visited over a long period of time, um, engaged in ritualist ceremonies, made offerings. Unfortunately, we'll never know the the nature of the ceremonies that took place at these long barrows. We have been left with no written writing or any artifacts that indicate the type of ceremonies that would have taken place here, um, instead just left with the bones of different individuals uh, assembled in different um, capacities across the long barrows and indeed um, within different chambers at the same uh, at each individual long barrow. We're going to get down there today. We're going to going to go and explore Bellaslap Long Barrow. This site is at least five thousand years old and is situated um, in the beautiful British countryside near Cheltenham. So we've just arrived at the parking and the trail that leads up to Bella Snap Long Barrow and I just want to show you guys the amazing view from just down here which isn't even on the top of the nap or uh, old English term for uh, word for hill. So here you've got Winchcombe in the background there across the valley and you've got the 15th century manor house Studley Castle. Right, we're now going to get on up the trail and walk through this amazing forested area here. Um, it's all been preserved brilliantly. Scenery as we climb this hill is absolutely beautiful. Right, so here we are at Bella Snap Long Barrow. I'm just going to give you a quick walk around and just show you the site, and then I can just explain about what they found and where they found it. But what is interesting about this Long Barrow is that it is aligned directly north south, which clearly shows a fully competent understanding of the stars in order to align a monument perfectly north south 5,000 years ago. And all of this work, I believe a lot of this has been repaired by archaeologists, but it is all dry stone. There's no mortar in between the blocks. Um, it's the same for the walls that you see all around this site. And these three large megalithic stones are so reminent, reminiscent of what we see all around the world in megalithic architecture. And this is towards the west, the west facing chamber. And we see another door here. This would have been higher before. You can see the stonework on this side here. Stonework here. And also one of the larger stones just in here. So this is the south side. Now we also have, on this side, we have two chambers on the east. So the sun would have risen up and over it, as you can see, the sun is now in the west. 
as it's getting on into the evening now, maybe 7 p.m. Now this is now this is the more southerly of the two east chambers. And it does go back about maybe 15, 20 feet. So we're gonna crawl in there. We're gonna give you guys a look in a moment. So we just proceed to the final chamber. Now the, the roofs that we see today on these chambers um, are repair work, as you can see from the iron bars that are holding this up here. So as you can see, there's been a lot of repair work in here. You can see the ceiling is held together using mortar. And as you know, that although this has been, this, these are original, they have been repaired. So when excavations took place at this site, they discovered that behind this door, uh, there is absolutely nothing. It is in fact a false door. Now, initially this was thought that it could be put there to deter uh, grave robbers. However, when the site was fully excavated, no artifacts or anything of value was found inside. Now, an alternative theory that is developing is that this is in fact a portal door, otherwise known as a spirit door. Uh, this could potentially, in the mindset of the Neolithic people, allow the spirits of the dead to come and go, um, and also be a place where they could worship and hold ceremonies. Now, interestingly, behind this door, the skeletal remains of five young children and a young man as well as the bones of animal, um, such as cattle, and a few pottery flint shards were found directly behind, but it did not lead to a chamber. More than, be more than the bones were scattered there and left and then sealed. Here we are in chamber D at Bellislap, Long Barrow. Uh, this chamber has been restored when the archeologists came in in the early 20th century, and it has a restored roof as well as restored stonework throughout the, throughout the chamber. Um, now, originally, this would have had a corbelled roof um, with stones leading up. Um, a similar effect is found in the pyramids of Egypt um, and all across the Neolithic and prehistoric world. Now, in this chamber, the, four, the remains of 14 skeletons were found, mostly men, but several women. Now, on some of the skeletons, they had evidence of head injuries to their skulls. Uh, now, this indicates potential tribal warfare or raiding um, within the Neolithic world. Now, it must be said that although the skeletons, there's 38 in total at this site that have been discovered, um, all seem to date to the, to the Neolithic era um, around 3,500 BC, um, there's no indication to say that this site um, was built at that time. We also find uh, bone shards and pottery shards from the Roman era, as this is a Roman hotspot around this area in uh, southern England. Um, and it could be that these monuments are far, far older. Now, initially, uh, a lot, many of the monuments, we have, um, we have cor correlations to the stars, and that helps us in uh, a way to identify them and date them. Um, uh, such as at West Kennet, so I'm fairly certain that the carbon dating and the astronomy is lining up to 3800 BC um, for the start of the build of that monument, and uh, two and a half thousand um, BC for the time that that monument will cease to exist. And um, that all lines up with the cosmology, whereas at this site there's no recorded or documented alignment to any stars. Um, so until we have some further evidence, it could be that this site is, is, is older. Um, but at least we're looking at five and a half thousand years old. You can see as the sun is moving down to the west in its setting position, we're having light fill up this chamber. Now, originally there would have been a chamber, a listed chamber A on the excavations, um, somewhere in this region here that uh, wasn't restored um, at all during the restorations. Chamber here is referred to as Chamber E. After the 1860 excavation, most of the stones were removed when they found skeletal remains here. Um, this chamber was not restored and has been left open like this, and this is situated at the south side of the monument. Um, so the sun would have risen up and over um, this side and this chamber looking directly due south. So here we are at Chamber B, and I'm going to crawl inside and give you guys a look in. Um, it's the, the smallest chamber that's been restored. Uh, it goes back about maybe 15, 20 feet, uh, but it's a bit of a crawl, as you can see, to get inside.
Bit of a tight squeeze to get in here. So here we are in chamber B, the smallest chamber that's been restored. In this chamber, the remains of four skeletons uh, were found, two male, two female, as well as pottery shards. Um, once again, the corbelled roof is no more with restoration work and the site has been rebuilt by the archeologists. I just want to give you a little look into a little void space that we have back here. And you can see the repair work. All right guys, so we're just gonna go inside. In this chamber, the remains of a dozen or so skeletons were found. One was actually found in the sitting position. Uh, this chamber contains some of the largest stones that are visible still on this site and have been restored in their upright position. Now this also had something called a porthole door with these two stones that would have caused you to snake in. As you can see they've been returned to their original position. Here on the top of the monument we have the site of an, an earlier megalithic structure with four large stones positioned um, forming an open-ed chamber if you will or a box shape um, and we have no way to date this. Now as this monument is believed to be five and a half thousand years old uh, the original megalithic structure containing the four large stones uh, of which this site was built around and upon uh, could very well be and must indeed be uh, from an era of prehistory going back much further. As yet, we do not have any carbon dating material that we can date uh, as this site has remained covered since the 1920s excavations that took place when the site was restored to how we see it in present day. This is just some of the countryside around the barrow viewed from the top. Looking south down there towards the bottom. While we will never know the true age of the original structure at this site, uh, the chances are that this present site that we see was indeed built around five and a half thousand years ago. To this day, this site still contains a certain magic inspiring imagination as you come here and you think of those who built these stones who worshipped here and even those who had built the original site that's all from exploring ancient history today i'm elliot thank you for watching and please join us over the next few days as we carry on exploring uh, ancient and megalithic sites across the uk